My 29F husband 30M has started making racist comments and won't stop no matter how much I ask. Story 1. To be honest up front, I29 made a huge mistake two years ago. I got too close to a co-worker during a rough patch in my marriage husband 30M, together six years. It resulted in one act that I deeply, deeply regret. I told my husband immediately and rededicated myself entirely to our marriage. I transferred immediately to a different project group so I was no longer around the co-worker, and within four months had a different job entirely. We went to therapy for a long time. I had and still have an open device policy where my husband can look at anything at any time, no questions asked. It was really hard, but we came out the other end strong and honestly, it seemed like we had put the entire event behind us. I know this sub takes a hard line against cheaters, and I don't make any excuses for myself. But it really did seem like we had entered a new phase in our relationship. The problem started two months ago. My husband accompanied me to an industry conference in our city we're in similar fields and we saw a speaker I have admired for a long time. The speaker was hanging around afterward and some people walked up to her to talk. I was about to as well but saw my ex-co-worker was one of the people talking with the speaker. I told my husband we should go get lunch, but he was understandably confused because he knows how much I admire this speaker. He kept encouraging me to go up there, but I kept effecting and saying I was hungry and would rather eat. My husband was not dropping it. He started asking why I didn't want to go up. Finally, he said he was going to go up and talk with her if I was wasn't. I begged him not to and he was even more confused and asked why. I told him it was because I promised him I would never be around my ex-co-worker again, and he was up there. Husband immediately looked like he had been punched in the gut. We went home and he was really quiet for several days. We talked about it. He was upset because he had never seen co-worker before and never wanted to see him. Husband said seeing the co-worker made it real in a way it never was before. I totally, 100% understand where my husband was coming from. I offered anything to make it up to him. Go back to therapy, anything? Husband assured me he was fine. But shortly after that, Husband began making slightly racist remarks. Like when a crime was reported on the news, husband would make a comment about the race of the people who committed it. My husband was never like that before. Never, ever, ever. Racism used to make him very upset. But his comments have continued and escalated. At first, I was so shocked. I didn't say anything. But after it continued I told him my comments made me really uncomfortable. He would brush it off. Two days ago he used the n-word for the first time and that was the last straw for me. I put my foot down, and we had a huge argument. I didn't put it together until then, but apparently all of this is because my co-worker is black we are white. Husband didn't know what co-worker looked like until he saw him at the conference. When I told my husband it bothered me to hear him talk like that, my husband said you're taking Jack's side over mine. This pissed me off because not liking racist comments doesn't mean I'm choosing Jack over my husband. My husband has been sleeping in the bedroom and we haven't talked to each other since. I'm dreading this weekend and I don't know what to do. TL, DR, I messed up two years ago and cheated on my husband. We worked through it. Husband saw my ex-co-worker for the first time two months ago and discovered he was black we are white. 
husband was never racist before, but has been making racist comments. When I ask him to stop, husband says I'm taking my ex-co-worker's side instead of his. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, sounds like you need counseling therapy again because clearly he's not over your cheating. Oh, and I am very suspicious of a not racist person going from zero to N word even with all of the context. He probably harbored some race hatred prior to your infidelity. Now it's just on steroids because of your cheating. Redditor 2, you haven't worked through it yet apparently. Redditor 3, to me it sounds like he is channeling this new wave of anger into racism. It sounds like he had forgiven you up until now, but seeing the cause of his pain before him reopened the wounds. Because he has forgiven you he does not feel like he can be mad at you all over again. I would guess that he really appreciated all you had done for him and yourself up to this point. So he is now lashing out at the only other available target. While he may normally not be racist, it sounds like he has a lot of emotions, struggling to get out that are being channeled at your co-worker. Angry people are not known for taking the high road. Instead he is just lashing out with anything he thinks will stick. Edit, removed the loan and chilling out after the last sentence. Story 2. My wife cheated on me with the neighbor, help. So here goes my story. I've been married to my wife for 14 years and been with her for over 20 because of being high school sweethearts. I found out about two months ago that she cheated on me with the neighbor. I caught her basically because our kids blew it for her with telling me about their day and her being in the Asholes house for the amount of time she was alone didn't make sense to me. I asked my one daughter where was mommy when you guys came back and she I don't know she was inside and said that the girl that went in said that the other guy said he'd be right out. Ha! Huh. So long story short I confronted her the next day and just like any other cheater she tried to lie at first and then finally broke down. She swears that all they did was kiss and he touched her chest then she stopped it because it felt wrong. I kicked her out the following day and since we have gone to counseling and she has mocked back in. I'll be honest I did it more for my kids than her because it was heal without them in my life. Yes I still saw them but it took a lot more effort, and was always awkward. Now here comes my questions. After talking to her and going to counseling they had been s timing for about 3 weeks. She sent him pictures and he sent them to her. She says that she only sent pictures of her face and her BTT in jeans that were actually her and pulled pictures offline of other people's TTS and vaginas that she sent to him as her own. By the way I don't believe that. He sent her a picture of his junk and when I asked I said let me quest he's big and of course she said no not at all he's actually little. Again I don't believe it. My question is, is there a real chance that it stopped at a kiss and if so did it stop because she truly felt wrong or the kids came home? Because. I don't see two adults that have been talking about s time for three weeks that given a chance and the kids are gone for what was a relative long time don't knock it out. The other thing to you guys out there that have gone through this how do you have s time with your wife again? We have had s time since but sometimes, and more times than not, the thought of did he do this to you too comes into my head. I can't get it out of my head. Then this past weekend we started to have s time, and when I went in her she was so tight that it instantly got me mad. I'm not a small guy, 
I'm 6 foot 2 225 and pretty well endowed but instantly the thought came in well we haven't had s time in about a week and a half and she's not binging him so that's why she got so tight and that's why she's been looser because he actually was bigger than me and she lied about that also. She swears to me on her life that she didn't sleep with him, when she has been very remorseful about cheating on me. The problem is that after being with someone for that long, 24 years, I know how much she lies to everybody, and how good she is at it. Please help if you've been through this or you cheated on your husband boyfriend. I'm literally going crazy because I do love her but it's starting to feel like love you have for a long time friend and not a love you feel for your wife. I honestly don't care to have s time with her and she wants it non-stop. That's the other part I forgot in all this, she before this is a man's wet dream she could and would have s time morning noon and night. She loves oh Al and never and I mean never says no. That adds to my thought that she didn't stop at a point that I can forgive, because she loves s time. Sorry I rambled on but this has truly cut me to the core. Thank you in advance for your comments.